YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So in this tutorial what we're going to do is add some new sounds to our game and maybe a couple possible new features as well. So the sounds we're going to add are for the pause menu, this one. So when we unpause it, this one for when we pause it. And then when we fire we can add this one. So I think they're really cool, and I've already gone and made the paused ones um, 2D sound, but I'm keeping the single laser shot as a 3D sound, because then it'll like drift out in the space, in space kind of thing. So, I got the laser sound from this website here. Uh, so that's in the description, thank you for that. And um, the other two I used the text I used a text-to-speech robot, but I actually can't remember what I used. It was a long time ago that I made that, but yeah. So I'm also going to get rid of this one here. Um, I'm not going to say where it is for copyright reasons, but I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'm going to rename this one to Enemy. Enemy hit. So to place these here is really, really simple. All we're going to do is go to on-screen actions and create two new variables. Var pause on in fact what we can do is just pull, call it pause audio make it an audio clip and set it as an array because then that will work too so we can put here so when it turns play on we could put audio dot play one shot pause audio zero so we can put up here zero equals play and one equals pause so then when we set it correctly it'll say either one so we can try that now but before I do I'm just gonna set the GUI button for our actual game because the pause at the minute the pause things right in the middle and I want it to one side so I'm gonna reset the number of that there to bring it over here and I happen to know that that number is 960 so I'm gonna sit here forever so I'm gonna assign this audio to these here so which one's this so that's pausing the game so we can put that on set this to two then and game pause play game so let's try it so we click it and it should do each one so the reason the buttons not working is because when we we've only put it in here so we need to actually put it in here Pause active equals true, which is this one, to put that there. So now if we try it, we should be able to click it and it should work fine. I apologise for that screaming, the neighbours around here are very annoying. But Perfect, so now I've got a cool sound. So what we're going to do now is add a firing sound to it. So what I want to do is when we fire normally, it'll go doof, doof. But when we add two, it'll go doof, doof to do and fire two at once hopefully so best way to do this is to go to our character and our player fire space fire script here and we'll unmark this and call it fire sound but we'll call it laser sound I can't remember whether lasers with a Z or an S mm. and we'll call this one laser bullet and we'll just quickly fix this up like so, so that would work. And audio dot play, audio dot play. Stick our laser sound in. So we already saved the scripts because we're that good. So I'm going to count laser as a fireball just because. Because why not? And again, I apologise for the screaming. So um, we're going to assign the audio clip to it, and hopefully it works. We may have to mess with the volume of it, or it won't work. Well, we will work, but we won't hear it. So if we find there it is, and stick our single laser shot. Try it again. See, no laser bullet. We haven't assigned the prefab, so let's assign it to clearly none of them. So prefabs there and weapons that one. Try again. See, it works really good with one. I really like that one. Because then it's more like sci-fi-ish kind of thing. But the only issue is, is it don't fire twice. So what I'm actually going to do here is type for var i equals zero. 
i is less than 2 and i plus plus so in here I'm going to put this single point here this single one and put this audio clip as well and that's it so now it'll run this twice create two bullets hopefully different bullet points so we can rename that to i so it'll create it, create it again and then fire with the sound twice so it saves a little bit of room and it's really, really good for when you want to do three bullets, four bullets, you can just alter that number. So as you can see it is only playing it once. Um, I think that's the best we're going to get out of that one because it is stopping the audio. Unless we do it like that. Get rid of the stop. Now if we try it we'll hear it but it won't stop the audio. We'll just keep building it up and building it up which is why I put the stop in eventually. So. See, it's a bit more better, but like, uh, it's too loud. It'll get too loud when you put loads and loads on. So what we're going to do now is put a, some sort of enemy into it, just so we've got something we can shoot. So we're going to go to Game Object Creator. In fact, we'll just duplicate our ship. That's even easier. Put that here. And we'll call this Enemy Ship. This isn't what we're always going to use. We are eventually going to change it, but... That screaming is so annoying. But okay, so we'll stick that there. Can we see it? Yeah, just about. So here, if we get rid of bullet spawn point, because we don't need it. So it's just an enemy ship. It's got no things on it, nothing. It's just an enemy ship. We can even add a small text just to make it look a tiny bit different. All's red. See, it's red enemy now. So we're going to go to our bullets, wherever they are. Here. and we're going to find the collider script which it doesn't have one so if we, do we have an enemy collision script enemy colliders we'll use that one so here you see this one's we can use this but it won't work for the spaceship so we will have to change this for our actual land one so we're going to get this and rename it to land enemy collisions and we'll duplicate it create a new folder inside of it called space and stick our land collisions one inside of it and call it space collisions the reason we're doing this is so that we can just add so basically our ship can receive damage and everything so we don't need that no more so let's see, we don't need this function start, all the body parts, all the fire particles, all the coin object, all the enemy. In fact, yep, yeah, we do need them to and the timer, no. So we can So that one will destroy the enemy, so destroy this dot game object. So quick run through again. We need two variables, enemy life and our audio for the hit. In our function update, if the enemy's health is less than one, destroy it. So we've got five shots at it. And then here we can go into the that one. I'm not gonna say the name. And that one's for our rigid bodies. Not rigid body. Um What's the thing? I forgot the name again. The floppy thing, that one. <laughs> um So we don't need on collision stay no more because we use in fact, I think it will probably be best if we do, because we have done it there, so we'll not change it. We destroy the object we hit it with, and we don't need it to spawn it, so all we do is enemy life, minus equals one. So that's our basic ship health for now, but we are going to improve it in a minute. So if we play it, we might be able to hit it. It doesn't understand enemy collisions on female text shot. All that one, so... Because we renamed it, we need to find an appropriate name. So line 72 is here. There, and we'll type land enemy collisions. And we'll find this one as well. And put that there. So line 18, it wants to find the game. There we go. So just rename the get components I had to rename it just to make it work better so we'll try it again and hopefully when we shoot him his life will go down no it won't because we haven't assigned it 
we should assign the script first. So space, gonna be collisions there. Give him a sound because we've already had loads of sounds. Uh, enemy hit. We will eventually have to put a real sound on, like a metal clang or something. And I'm also going to add an audio source, otherwise it won't play. So if we try it now, we should see his life go down. So four, three, two, one, dead. So let's go and try it. Oh dear, I seem to have passed to him. So as you can see, I do. He doesn't have a box collider. That's why. So we'll add him a box collider. So add a component um, physics box collider. We'll just double click him so we can see him. That seems good enough. So if it's it, this both shouldn't be triggers. It'll hit it. It'll stay colliding with it. Then it'll kill it. Four. Boom. And it'll be dead. However, the audio is not playing for him. So what we can do is we zoom in, so you can see I apologise again, I really do forget to do that. Here we'll type audio.stop, audio.play, one shot, enemy hit. So we hit him, uh, 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 dead, ah. Uh. I don't think we have a screaming sound. Nope. So we click it, we play, it should work fine. Dead. Perfect. So what we're eventually going to do in the future is make this like if you hit it, um, it will turn into attack mode. It'll look at you and start attacking you. Um, the AI what we will eventually incorporate to this. This is just the basic start of it. Will be much much easier in space than it is on land. You'll think, well, no, it's not. You're messing with dog fights and everything. You wouldn't believe how easy it is actually, because on land you have to mess with. Um, just defaultly walking around where in space you can just probably one long line it's really easy so um, short tutorial just basics enemy and sounds with GUI things I hope you liked it I'm sorry if it's a bit bland for your taste we will get into good stuff soon join my Facebook group and see you next time